Okay, I'm going to show you a demonstration of the cleaning performance on high profile carpet. So we're going to launch the app here. Select clean. We're going to choose a room. So right now it's on the basement. Let's go ahead and change it to the upper level. And now we're going to do the living room. Okay. This carpet's about 0.25 inches thick. It had a little troubles on the training run, but I think it's going to do better once it's actually vacuuming. And then over there is the area where I uploaded a video of where it actually got stuck. So it's right there. But we'll see how well it does. So in the map, I actually blocked off that area because I didn't want it to go on the shag rug. So this is on the high powered setting um, and it's programmed to do two runs. So in this mode it will run for about 50 minutes and then return to its dock, charge for an hour and 30 minutes and then resume where it left off. And I'll give you a kind of show the spinning side brush here. It kind of gets wrapped up. I don't know how effective it is right now, but it's pretty effective on hardwood floors. So yeah, I think I overstated on my last video when I said it got stuck. Um, I just had a really rocky start with the training runs, but once I got over the training runs, the S9's been really well. Uh, it's vacuums very well. It's um, haven't had really any issues with mapping issues or um, getting lost. It's a really rock solid vacuum. I'm completely happy with my uh, $1,300 purchase.
Let's see if it can get itself unstuck from here. So as you can see, it, this carpeting here is way too thick. It's about a half an inch. But this is a quarter of an inch, and it's about what you want. Uh, you don't want anything thicker than that. Um, let me just pause it for one second. I'll show you the dustbin. So I can open this up in one hand. Okay. See, there's a lot of that white stuff. And the reason why I got the S9 is because my 360 and uh, Roborock would get these, this dustbin full and it would only do partial job and stop in the middle of their cleaning run. Where this, this can uh, return back to its charger. And I had an i7 which did great, but it took a tumble down the stairs and broke. So... So here's one of the problem areas is it likes to get uh, left and right corners kind of stuck. Um, the, with the round design it would just spin off and keep going but this D-shaped design is a little troublesome for the robot. And the wheels are spinning right now but it managed to get free. So with this robot its solution to breaking free is just to power through. It will uh, almost like if it's getting frustrated, just bang its head back and forth until it frees itself, which is kind of funny in a way, but it also uh, will ding up your furniture if you're not careful. Um. See how it's kind of rocking back and forth? That's its way of trying to get itself unstuck. Can you buy it? Okay. Let me get your jacket. She's trying to uh, back up and get stuff unstuck. Yeah, it's kind of a slow, painful process to watch, but it does manage to clean this area. So right now it's just clean the edge.
Okay, I'm getting you a jacket. Hold on. <laughs>